households are hurting, barely hanging on if they haven't gone out of business already. The third wave has forced small businesses to close for a third time, and there is speculation that they will remain closed well into next month. Speaker, small businesses are doing their part to save lives, but they need the government to have their back. So I have a simple yes or no question. Will the Premier triple the Ontario Small Business Support Grant to help small businesses survive the third wave? To reply, the member for Willowdale. Uh, thank you, Speaker. And, and I think I've mentioned in this House, I have, I have a great deal of respect from the member from Guelph. Uh, we've had uh, many conversations with the small businesses, not just in his writing, but throughout this province, through our work with the Finance Committee, listening to the very difficult times they're going through from the beginning of this pandemic. That's why this government has responded in step with our, our, level, our partners at other levels of government to provide a blanketed measure of support. And we've introduced a series of supports, not just the Small Business Support Grant program, but uh, with help with hydro, uh, with fixed costs like property taxes, reducing or eliminating eliminating, in, in many cases, uh, a tax on jobs, the EHT, for the smallest of small businesses, in fact, Speaker. But it's curious to hear that the member from Guelph is calling for a third round of the Small Business Support Grant program when he voted against the second round. So the question, yes or no, is if we introduce more support measures, will the member finally support and vote in favour of those supports? And the supplementary question. Speaker, I think small businesses wanted a yes response to my previous question. The bottom line is, is wave one and two supports, inciting those, will not get small businesses through wave three, especially when the current program is broken. I just want to quote one of many small businesses who reached out to me. I just got off the phone with the call center and I got to hurry up and wait, that they don't have any timelines on payments. Speaker, businesses simply cannot hurry up and wait. I can tell you as a longtime small business owner that cash flow is critically important. So I will support a third round of funding and a system that is fixed. So, Speaker, through you, I ask Question. the government, will you expand the eligibility criteria of the Small Business Support Grant, bring in a third round of funding, and fix the existing broken system? Again, the member for Willowdale to reply. Well, thank you, Speaker, and I appreciate the passion from the member from Guelph, and it's encouraging to hear uh, that he will consider uh, changing the voting record and, and supporting small businesses for, for supports uh, moving forward. And, and, and it's, it's, it's important to talk about the supports that the businesses in Guelph have received. I mean, in the first iteration of a grant program, they had received over $11 million. This helped uh, well over 700 businesses in the area of Guelph, uh, and now the member has voted against that. But in the second round, these businesses will be given more support. And of course, we are not through this storm that is COVID-19, and I will We'll work with that member and his constituents and small businesses to make sure that we are listening to them about where these targeted measures can best help these small businesses. Because what I have in common with that member is I too am from a background in small business. My family made a new life for themselves in this the best country in the world based on small business, and we need to help them. So I encourage that member to reach out to my office. Let's get the job done. Let's put COVID-19 in the rearview mirror and make Response. sure these small businesses are not just prosperous again, that they are the most successful that we have in the entire world.